single chip, one tiny piece of silicon, could end up changing the entire smartphone industry. Not just shifting specs, but reshaping how we build, price, and experience our most used device on Earth, the smartphone. That chip might already be here, and you probably haven't heard of it. It's called the X-Ring, made by Xiaomi, yeah, the Chinese tech company known for affordable, high-spec phones. This chip, this is different. It's not just an upgrade. It's a declaration, an intent to compete at the absolute highest level of silicon design, a space dominated by companies like Qualcomm, MediaTek, and to some extent, Apple. And the wild thing? It's already in mass production. So yeah, Qualcomm should probably be worried. Now, a bit of backstory. Whispers about Xiaomi building its own high-performance chip started floating around in late 2024. Not the first time they've tried. They've had other chips before, like the Surge S1 back in 2017, which, let's be honest, didn't really move the needle. It was okay, but it wasn't threatening any. But this? This 3 nanometer chip? It's a leap. Not a baby step. It's bold. It's ambitious. And it's... kinda crazy. By April 2025, we had confirmation. The X-Ring had taped out and was headed into full-scale production. And that's a huge deal. Not just for Xiaomi, but for China's tech industry as a whole. Because here's the reality. This is the first 3M mobile COC, designed by a Chinese company, and that puts them in a whole new weight class. Let's zoom in on what 3 nanometers really means. A nanometer, it's one billionth of a meter. That's insanely small. At 3M, you're operating near the limits of what physics can even handle. But this isn't just about size for the sake of it. Smaller transistors mean more performance and less power. It's a classic Moore's Law trade-off, pushed to the bleeding edge. So, going from 5N, which powers most flagship smartphones today, to 3N? That's not incremental, it's massive. We're talking 20 to 30% more performance, and 40 to 50% better energy efficiency, depending on the design. And from what we're hearing, Xiaomi isn't doing this alone. They're partnering with TSMC the best chip foundry in the world. TSMC is the same company that makes Apple's A-series chips and Qualcomm's Snapdragon processors. So the silicon quality is going to be excellent. Uh, reportedly, the X-Ring uses the N3E process, which is TSMC's most advanced and efficient 3NM node available for volume manufacturing. That's cutting-edge stuff. Now, let's talk about what's actually in the chip. Based on leaks and early technical analysis, the X-Ring is built around an octa-core architecture, one powerful Cortex-X3 prime core, three Cortex-A715 performance cores, and four Cortex-A510 efficiency cores. And for graphics, it's said to use an Imagination CX-T485 GPUs, which is kind of a surprise since most people expected Mali or Adreno-class GPUs. Now, is it going to beat Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 in raw horsepower? Maybe not. But here's the key point. It might not need to. Because what Xiaomi is doing is redefining value. Imagine a chip that offers 90% of flagship performance, but at 60% of the cost. That's transformative, especially in mid-tier markets, where performance per dollar matters more than sheer benchmark numbers. And let's not forget... Xiaomi designs the hardware, the chip, and the software. That's Apple-level vertical integration. And that means one thing, optimization. A chip like the X-Ring won't just power the phone, it'll be tuned for it. Tailored. Every watt, every frame, every AI calculation. Optimized for real-world use, not just benchmarks. That gives Xiaomi control. And control, in today's tech ecosystem, is everything. Now let's talk about Qualcomm. They've dominated this space for over a decade. Snapdragon processors are in like half the phones on the planet. They've got a deep bench, amazing AI tools, robust GPU support, fast modems. Snapdragon basically became synonymous with high performance, but that dominance has come at a cost. Literally. Qualcomm chips are expensive. 
especially the newer 3NM Snapdragon models. That drives up the price of flagship phones, and when Xiaomi or Oppo or Vivo has to pay a premium for a chip, those costs get passed to consumers. So what happens if Xiaomi says, forget it, we'll just make our own chip? They save money, they move faster, they control their roadmap, and they cut Qualcomm out of the loop entirely. And here's where it gets even more intense. Xiaomi is Qualcomm's customer, one of its biggest, actually. If Xiaomi switches to its own chips, Qualcomm loses revenue, market share, influence, and it opens the door for other manufacturers to consider alternatives too. That's how disruption starts. But, let's be real, this isn't going to be easy. First, there's the geopolitical side. The X-Ring is fabbed by TSMC, a Taiwanese company. And tensions between China, Taiwan, and the US? Yeah, they're not exactly chill right now. Any political shifts, new sanctions, export bans, trade restrictions, could pull the rug out from under Xiaomi's supply chain. And if TSMC can't work with them anymore? Xiaomi doesn't really have a plan B. At least not yet. Second, there's scale. Designing a chip is hard. Manufacturing it in volume and shipping it in millions of devices with consistent quality and thermals and software support, that's a whole other beast. Qualcomm has spent decades building up that infrastructure. Xiaomi? They're just getting started. Third, performance might not be perfect out of the gate. We saw this with Google's Tensor chip. First-gen SCCs are almost always a bit rough, whether it's thermal throttling, inconsistent AI performance, or battery drain. But you know what? It's okay, because this is version 1, and the vision is clear. What Xiaomi's doing here isn't just about beating Qualcomm. It's about building an ecosystem. They're already putting their own chips into TVs, wearables, even routers and smart home gear. The X-Ring is a piece of that puzzle. And as AI becomes more important in imaging, voice, AR, gaming, having a custom chip becomes a huge advantage. For consumers, it could be a win. Imagine getting a Xiaomi 15S Pro with a flagship chip, custom AI features, killer battery life, and seamless hyper OS integration for $200, zero cents less than a Samsung or Pixel equivalent. That pressures everyone. Samsung, Vivo, Oppo, even Apple, to innovate harder or cut prices. We all benefit. Now, let's look ahead. Qualcomm isn't sitting still. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 is in development, and it's supposed to be a beast. MediaTek's Dimensity 9400 Plus is also pushing AI capabilities to new heights, and Apple's A18 Pro, well, it's Apple. Tight integration, smooth performance, and great silicon. So, yeah, the, the chip war is getting serious. But what Xiaomi is doing with X-Ring is bold, it's risky, and if they pull it off, it changes the game. The only question is, can they actually do it? Or is this just another hype cycle destined to fizzle out? We'll know soon. The first phones with the X-Ring are coming, and if they deliver in power, in price, in experience, and Qualcomm's dominance won't just be challenged, it'll be cracked. So, what do you think? Is Xiaomi's X-Ring the real deal, or are we getting ahead of ourselves? Drop your thoughts in the comments, and if you want a deep dive into Qualcomm's next move, or how AI is transforming chip architecture, let me know. For now, stay curious, stay informed, and stay tuned. And we're just getting started.